legalization abortion was uh, necessary in view of the fact that we had a very high maternal mortality rate, one of the highest in South Asian countries. And one of the key reasons for high maternal mortality was unsafe abortion. Abortion services were not available in the government hospital because abortion was illegal. They used the term criminal abortion or septic abortion to identify induced abortion. The study that we have carried out at the hospital uh, level was that 60% of those women who were admitted for uh, maternal health illnesses, they were because of unsafe abortion. Among those women who were admitted, 98% were married and only there were few cases, 2% who were unmarried or widow and there was one or two foreigners who had resorted to unsafe abortion. The first nationwide uh, survey carried out by us in 1997 have shown that 20% of the women who were in prison were because of the charges of abortion slash infanticide. There were women who were uh, in the forest collecting photos, but when they have a labor pain, she had no one to help her, so she delivered the baby on the spot, became unconscious. So when he became conscious, you know, she found the baby no more, you know. And the surrounding people who found out this woman with a dead, uh, you know, uh, baby, they have been charged that she has killed them. Now, this 20% of women were basically those who are from the rural area, illiterate, did not have a voice to raise against uh, the crime being, you know, charged against them. Majority of the cases are false charges because of envy and lack of family uh, support. But wherever there is a family support, the support of the husband, he doesn't reach to the court or to the police. And when we interviewed those uh, women, we found that men can easily escape from the charges of abortion at the time by saying two or three, you know, responses. First thing is, he can deny that the pregnancy was due to his. Secondly, the, the son or the man is always had the support of the family. So they don't want the daughter-in-law. So uh, whatever... Uh, even if the man has the responsibility or contribution to that pregnancy, they will protect the man. And thirdly, man has the money and the decision making power. So he can always pay the uh, deposit money, you know, which is required, you know, and then can escape the prison terms. But there, there will be no one for the woman to pay this, uh, the deposit money.